Spurious emissions is a big problem in amateur radio. And a lot of you don't believe me because I've seen the comments asking, where is this even transmitting outside of band? Who is actually affected? And I bet it's not that much power output, is it? Well, let's go test it. I'll demonstrate it live using this radio. And here's our receiving frequency. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu test. <laughs> it's right there. There's your, there's your spur at 293.160 megahertz. The, res the second harmonic, first harmonic being the fundamental frequency that we're transmitting on. Doing a bit of a run. I want to eat some, uh, some delicious fatty Korean pastries. So I'm going to jog there, have some coffee, sit down. But while I'm doing it, we're going to take our data points on the spurious emissions test. So I can see my home from here. So I, I have a feeling I'll be able to hit this at the spurious emissions, but I don't think I'll hit it at the coffee shop. But let's do the first one first. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. This is a test just on the emergency frequencies monitoring here on two meters. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. So I'm monitoring on the adventure frequency, which is 146.580. If you're outdoors, if you're doing something like parks on the air or summits on the air, it would probably be a good idea that you use that frequency most of the time. But let's jog a little bit further and see if we can make any spurious emissions contacts to my home station. Now, the first test was an easy one. That was only a couple hundred feet from my house at one of the corners. Now, the second test is about a quarter mile from my home. A bit harder for this because there's buildings and trees, foliage in the way that's attenuating the transmitted signal of that second harmonic. All right. Whew at the halfway point about uh, two blocks over. Uh, let's do another test here. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu monitoring the adventure frequency on 146.580. Kilo India 6 November right, Alpha Zulu. Three-fourths of a mile. We're in the parking lot. I got a long shot to where my house is. So Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu transmitting on the adventure frequency. 146.580 monitoring for any traffic. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. All right. Now I didn't go, I, let's see, I've gone like 75% of a mile. It wasn't straight though, it zigzagged around. So I'm guessing I may be gone a quarter mile, maybe two thirds of a mile to where I'm at right now. There are houses and trees all between me and my home, which is over in that direction. We're in the middle of the suburbs. Curious what the data point's gonna be because I've got a special antenna in my pack to do the final test. Now off the stock antenna, this did not go from that parking lot of the shopping center back home. However. I got my coffee. I was gonna sit down and have a little snack of a pastry, but a group of dudes took my seat. They took all the tables in the front. They didn't even have their food yet. They were just, I, by the way, I hate that, guys. It's like, go get your food and then go get a table. So I'm trying to like crowd and reserve everything because you got people. I'm as far away from my house as this parking lot will get me uh, without running further for, for no particular reason. So we're just gonna test things out right now. Here we go. The antenna. I knew I forgot something. So this is truly one of my favorite things about this uh, spurious emission stuff is that for all you preppers, radio preparedness people, or just preparedness people in general that have a bow thing, because you think, I need this. I need this if there's a disaster, an emergency, whatever. As you're probably hearing on some of these audio clips, there's not that much degradation. And so you, your voice, your human voice, is going to be understood to people, possibly even recorded, who knows, uh, in a true SHTF situation. So keep that in mind. These radios, it's not where it's at necessarily, guys. Unless you just want cheap. Uh, pretty reliable, that's true. Again, taking nothing away from these radios, but let's consider them for what they really are. All right, I came back around. I got an SMA barrel connector. So this is the actual antenna I wanted to use. This is a half wave smiley antenna. Here we go. November Alpha Zulu. Now that realistically, after I started thinking about it, that half wave antenna is not ideal for this testing. A, core, a quad band antenna might have been way, way better because that antenna is really not made to transmit anything outside of the two meter amateur radio band. Oh no, somebody's at my normal table. So we're gonna have to keep walking. We're gonna walk over that little hill right over there. A 
that's there when I'm done, I'll take it. I'll get some bubble solution. <laughs> Heading for the high ground here. Last bullet for data point for today. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Transmitting on the two meter adventure frequency. Monitoring for traffic, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Test, test, test. I don't know, we'll see. I kind of have a feeling it's gonna work. See, the testing from the park just didn't work at all. The only success was that I got this uh, this little guy out. I had to do all the testing with the squelch off on the SDR because I figured this was gonna be putting out some pretty low signals on the second harmonic. All right, I couldn't just leave it at that. I, I had to come back. So it's the second day, can't leave you guys hanging. I also changed the way my SDR is set up too. So uh, I'm actually recording both the second harmonic and the third harmonic. So transmitting on 146.580, we're gonna see it on the second harmonic and third harmonic hypothetically with the better antenna. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. This is a test, test, test on the adventure frequency. 146.580, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, test. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. This is a test, test, test on the adventure frequency. 146.580, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, test. All right, I couldn't, I couldn't half-ass it. I had to come back to the park and do this the right way, so. I've got my tri-band antenna, right? So two meters, 220, 1.25 meters, and 70 centimeters. Technically, this antenna is semi-resonant on all of the first, second, and third harmonic for this uh, radio, right? So that's what we're taking advantage of. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, testing with the tri-band antenna here on 146.580, the adventure frequencies. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. So what does all that mean? It's probably way too loud to do a video close-up on, huh? All right. Okay, so what's the effect of all this? Well, as I've kind of already explained in other videos, these cheap Chinese radios, right, are transmitting outside of the frequency you're transmitting on. If there's nobody on those adjacent frequencies, then no big deal. But there has been comments I've heard in the past of people saying, who's even listening to those frequencies? And the reality is, is that there's other radio services that are there. Particularly as you go higher up in frequency, there's more people that are actually on those frequencies. Amateur radio operators are not an exclusive bunch of people that operate in this electromagnetic space. So we have to be mindful of that and be good stewards of not just the amateur radio bands, but for all radio users. And because I figured uh, some of you are going to ask me, what are the second harmonic, third harmonic, etc., for this radio being way out of band? Uh, so second harmonic is 293 megahertz. The third harmonic is 439. Fourth harmonic is 586. Those are land mobile radio, but 732 and 879 potentially fit into first responders. There are some counties where they're actually all the way down into the 400 megahertz space, 400, 500 megahertz for first responders, ambulance drivers, even uh, your, your law enforcement will sometimes be that low depending on what they run in their county. So... If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. At least give me a thumbs up. Let me know if these practical demonstrations are useful as you figure out your way in amateur radio. I'm Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks for watching. 73. Hello, my friend. You're coming with me.